Well, our top story tonight at 10, Amazon is saying no thanks to Western New York. Developers are pulling what has been called Project Olive out of Grand Island. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. That means the town and Western New York will miss out on more than 1,000 jobs. Here's two on your sides, Leanne Stuck. The night before a highly anticipated public hearing on a proposed Amazon distribution center on Grand Island, junior side has learned that Amazon does not want to move forward with the project. This notice was on the Grand Island website stating that TC Buffalo withdrew its application for the project. Something Amazon confirmed to two on your side. A spokesperson said in part, we have decided not to pursue a location in Erie County at this time. Although we continue to explore opportunities to invest and grow across the region and New York State. Town Supervisor John Whitney said that developers told him they were not pulling out because of opposition to the project, but rather possible cost increases. Amazon's interest in other locations and labor requirements from industrial development agencies. The 3.8 million square foot facility on Long Road has been a center point for controversy. Developers work to sweeten the deal by offering the town $10 million in incentive funds for a community center and other amenities. Just last week, the Coalition for Responsible Economic Development for Grand Island protested the project outside Town Hall. Tonight, a spokesperson for the group said, We're very happy with this outcome, uh, but we definitely want to wait and see that it is uh, absolutely official. Erie County Executive Mark Polonkars also weighed in tonight, saying in part, this is an unfortunate development as this project would have brought a thousand new jobs, paying a living wage to our community and would have generated tens of millions of dollars more in taxes for the county, the town and the school district. But Amazon has decided that the fit is not right at the current time. Leon Stock, Channel 2 News.